Hello everyone, Dr. B here. Welcome again to eTech 589. I hope you're excited about getting started this semester. I can tell you I'm excited about joining you on your learning journey. So we'll get started with module one this week. Before we do, I'll ask you to click on the modules and just make sure that you've completed the introduction to the course module. It'll help you with all the details you need to know to be successful in this online environment. As we start in module one, you'll notice the structure that will hold true for all of the modules in this course. You have an overview, lecture, readings, discussion, assignment, and then review and reflect. So this week, as we look at the overview, this module will allow you to introduce yourself to each other and will further introduce the course. So you're going to let us know a little more about yourself, both to your peers and to me, and you're going to consider your purpose, your why. What is it that gets you excited and gets you out of bed each and every morning? Make sure that you have read the course syllabus and you have looked at the course schedule and you're familiar with the overall course structure. And certainly ask any questions that you may have. The learning objectives, this week you'll learn more about your classmates, you're going to discover your pur purpose. If you haven't already thought about your purpose and who you are and why you do what you do, this will give you some time to reflect. If you have, it will give you an opportunity to reflect and review what you've already thought about and maybe build upon those thoughts. And then you should leave this week with an understanding of the general course purpose, the content, and some of the technologies that we'll use. Each week you'll see the reminder there, just reminding you of what you need to complete for the module. If you have any general questions, you can pose them uh, to the course question and answer discussion forum. However, you can just send those questions directly to me. Throughout the course, there will be brief lectures and supporting videos like TED Talks and other supporting YouTube videos. The goal is for it to be less of me lecturing to you where it's you know kind of this sit and get, transmit, receive. But just introducing the topic, walking through the module to make sure you're clear on the assignments, because I'm really trying to facilitate more opportunities for you to go and learn and find content so that you can have some rich dialogue with your classmates. So it's more about facilitating your learning journey than it is me just trying to tell you about things. The readings will allow a lot of support, and I'll point out again here, there's no textbook for this course. And be thankful about that. There will be required readings from various articles, blogs, websites that I have pointed you to to go and read. But what I really want to do is challenge you to go find articles and blogs, websites, literature that contribute to the content that week. So maybe you go and find resources that support a position that you have on that topic that maybe challenges what others are thinking. Maybe others challenge your thinking and now you go and dig and find some content. So that's the point is for us to have some, some rich dialogue, an opportunity to unpack some content, you know, challenge what's out there so that we can learn together. It's the opportunity for us to have a collaborative learning environment. So I want you to be looking for updated articles and content that's out there. It doesn't have to necessarily be a peer-reviewed article in a journal. It could be an interesting read on a website or a blog, but anything that you can bring that, that will add to what we're already looking at that week. This week, short little article for you to read that uh, provides tips on engaging and introducing yourself in the online environment. After you've read that article, you're ready to participate in this week's discussion. And this week, you're basically introducing yourself to your classmates as well as to me. You'll see the instructions there. Basically consider some areas about you to share and then answer these following questions so that we learn a little more about you and you'll learn more about your classmates. You'll create the initial post and each week will be the same, a minimum of 200 words just to give you some guidance. And then after you completed your post, your contribution, you'll respond to at least two classmates. And I want it to be more than, that's nice, 
yes, I agree, good job kind of responses. I want them to be more thoughtful and thorough. And this is the opportunity for you to share what you've learned through readings and other articles and references that you go find. It's not meant to be adversarial in any way, but an opportunity for you to bring a spirit of inquiry so that you can inquire and learn more about a topic and learn together. I noticed you posted X, Y, and Z. Could you say more about that? Or to help me better understand your perspective, could you share more? That's very interesting, but it challenges my thinking as my understanding involves and then support it. And that's a healthy way for us to have dialogue and to challenge concepts and learn together. You will do that with proper netiquette, as we say, in a way that's respectful and kind to others. But we can certainly have some healthy, challenging uh, dialogue that will help us learn and grow together. Make sure you have subscribed to the discussion so that you will see the feeds. And if you have any questions, certainly let me know, and I'll be happy to give you some guidance. For the assignment this week, this is a fun one. It begins your journey of self-discovery. As we go through this course, it's basically structured so that we start with the idea of leading self before leading others. To do that, we have to start with some self-discovery. Self-discovery enables us to have self-awareness. From self-awareness, we can have some self-development, which then leads to self-management or self-regulation. And then we hopefully are lifelong learners, so self-learning leads to more self-discovery. So part of our self-discovery starting off this week is learning more about our purpose or our personal why. I love this quote by Michael Jr. When you know your why, your what becomes more clear and impactful. Basically, when I know my why, my what has more impact because I'm always walking in or towards that purpose. My why guides how I do things and eventually what I do. So after you read this why article, I'm going to have you watch this Know Your Why video by Simon Sinek. And then another short video that I created that helps you think about what we're talking about when we say my why, what does that mean? Your why, your how, and your what. So after you watch those two videos, then you'll be ready to create your own personal why statement. And I have it here, very simply, to blank so that blank, your contribution and your impact. So you'll write your personal why statement you're going to create your own video. Hopefully the Michael uh, Jr. quote and Simon Sinek and this other video will inspire you to really uh, be able to create that personal why statement and then share it. And you can be creative and have fun with it. You can use your laptop or your cell phone. But you'll create a video and then you'll upload the link or the video to Canvas. So you can use Canvas Studio, you can click on that link, there's some instructions there. Some prefer to create the video, upload it to YouTube, and share the link. I'll leave that up to you. A lot of the assignments we'll do this semester, I'm going to give you some guidance and then allow you to have options as to how you complete it. No specific detailed rubric this week, like you'll, you'll see in the discussion reflection rubrics for Module 1 and in other assignments. For this week, for this assignment, basically, Creating that why statement will yield you 30 points. Creating the video, similar to the one you'll see by Simon Sedek, will give you 60 points. Using any tool of your choice. So I'm not, not even giving you any specifics there. And then you'll upload by the deadline to capture those additional 10 points. So hopefully you'll have fun and enjoy doing this. Other students have really enjoyed this and have learned a lot about themselves and their classmates. And you'll see some examples that I provided from prior students. You'll see these videos are anywhere from a minute to three minutes. So I'm not even putting specific requirements on that. Just do what you need to do, but certainly don't go too long. And make sure it's long enough that we, we capture your why. So have fun with it, and let me know if you have any questions or concerns about the assignment. And to wrap up Module 1, you will conclude with your opportunity to review and reflect upon the content covered in Module 1 this week. What was your biggest takeaway? 
What did you learn about yourself and others this week? This is why you are creating your blog. So you'll create your blog with whatever blog tool you decide to use, but you will create a post for this week entitled Module 1 Reflection. And then you'll reflect back on your biggest takeaway. What did you learn? Maybe some unexpected learning outcomes in your journey to learn more about the topics this week. And this will be the same in future modules and future weeks. And then you'll put that into a post. Now, I'm not going to grade and critique for grammar and punctuation and structure and academic writing, APA format and all that stuff for these blog posts. This is an opportunity for you just to have a conscious stream or flow of thoughts and just capture it in a blog post. I really want to see the content. I want to see what you learn this week. Uh, many times folks will share an unexpected learning outcome from a classmate, something they shared, something they put in a post, maybe that they discovered about themselves and part of our self-discovery and became more aware of as they were learning about a particular content that maybe they never considered before. So an opportunity for you to share that type of information. So that's how we'll wrap it up this week. Uh, again, let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Reach out to me. I can't help you if I don't know you're struggling. So early and often, reach out. Let me know how things are going. And if you have any questions or concerns, I look forward to learning more about you as we continue to grow and learn together. Have a great week.